As a lineman, many of the jobs that you'll be doing will require heavy loads to be rigged so that they can be lifted, moved, or stabilized while work is being done. The right rigging tools, used properly, allow a load to be lifted and controlled regardless of its weight and distance from the ground. A thorough knowledge of rigging equipment and techniques, along with the proper tools, can make your job safer and easier. In this program, we'll see how common rigging equipment and techniques can be used to plan and execute a number of jobs that require more than simple lifting. For example, we'll look at one way that a dead-end cross-arm can be rigged during a change-out. We'll also see how to rig a job so that secondary conductors can be transferred from one pole to another. In addition, we'll look at some of the structural safety considerations to remember when rigging from a wooden pole or cross-arm. Keep in mind that while the specific equipment and job procedures used by your company may vary from those shown in this program, the techniques and skills you'll see are typical. As you watch this program, check the procedures required by your company for each job so that you'll be aware of any differences. Always follow your company's procedures. Now let's begin by describing some of the basic safety concerns that are involved in rigging jobs on an overhead distribution system. The two basic reasons for rigging are maintaining control of a load, whether the job is lifting, holding in place, or moving something from one place to another, and maintaining a safe minimum clearance from energized equipment. In any situation where rigging is required, there are usually several safe methods that can be used. Determining the method to be used on any particular job involves considering the job site, the equipment available, and the knowledge and experience of crew members. Regardless of the job or method used, there are three basic guidelines to accomplish a job safely. They are planning the job thoroughly, inspecting the rigging equipment carefully, and using the equipment properly. Let's look at job planning first. A well-planned job accomplishes the job safely, whereas a poorly planned job can result in accidents and injuries. Among the things that are considered in planning are the weight and balance of the load, and the clearances and safety requirements of the job. Some types of equipment, such as this transformer, have name plates attached to them that state the actual weight of the unit. The weights of other things, such as conductors and utility poles, may have to be determined using charts like this one. Here we can see that the weight of a 50-foot Class III pole is approximately 1,417 pounds. In a case where the exact weight of a load is difficult to determine, it's best to over-rig the job by using equipment with a larger capacity, just to be safe. Another planning consideration is the balance of the load. Generally, it's easier to control a load if it's well balanced. Many electrical components, such as the transformer you see here, have lifting points as a part of their structural design. On other components, like this gang-operated switch, or this utility pole, the balance must be estimated by experience. Whenever you're rigging a job, it's always a good idea to take a test strain on the load to make sure that the load is balanced and that the rigging will do the job that's necessary.